Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to do a sort of a first range test with uh, the Link & Co plug-in hybrid. So I have the car for less than sort of 24 hours so I hope I will be able to upload some sort of first impressions video but one thing I've been not really thinking about before getting the car is okay they say the, the electric range is 69 kilometers. Um, my experience is that you get two-thirds out of that from from the Volvo hybrids. Yeah, so in that respect it will be really really interesting to see how far we can get on the, the Lincoln Coast battery which is I think 14 kilowatt hours. So I'm trying to just go on a, on a quick trip and we'll summarize after that. Um, the range is now at 32. I think we started at 63. Um, I don't know. I charged the, the battery to 100% and it still said 63. I don't know if it was just because it was heating the car that it sort of subtracted some from the range. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. Um, but now we're at yeah 31 kilometers. So the range dropped really fast in the beginning, but now once cruising it's been pretty stable. Uh, so 31 plus 24, that's yeah, 56. Um, let's see how far we get. To, to nothing pretty fast. So far we have driven, let's see here, 45 kilometers and note that in the beginning I was driving on like yeah 70 kilometers per hour roads. Now at the end I've been on the highway so cruising at 100, 110. Um, and you can see that that sort of takes a toll on the range. Okay, so now the the car, the engine kicked in. You could actually feel it sort of, um, yeah, doing a, a, a jerk. So let's just see how far we get. Yeah, 46 kilometers. <clears throat> That's actually pretty good. I haven't been driving to sort of maximize range. I've been driving my usual pace which I do when we go to our sort of summer house um, because that is the use case for this car, I mean going on trips. So getting 46 kilometers on the, on, on the battery is much much better than what I've been able to get on a, on a Volvo hybrid. Um, we did start at 63 per 63 kilometer range so 
I guess that's pretty close to my initial estimation of two thirds of, of the range. Um, that's actual. Just in terms of, of driving, I mean, it's no problem to use the electric motor and drive at 110. Um, even overtaking in, in you know lower speeds, which I, I think that's a really good um, uh, a good grade for for the electric engine. You, you don't need to to drive on the combustion engine. The the electric motor is enough. If you're going to overtake on the highway, you can see that it, you should. I mean, at some point, use the the combustion engine. So far, I can't hear the combustion engine, even though it's driving on petrol right now. So, I think that's uh, another positive. <laughs> Something I have sort of uh, experienced now is that I, it's pretty sunny today, and I have the the sunroof uh, open. I mean, not the the window, but the glass. It's really hard to, to read the screen. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's really easy for the sun to just make the screen a, a big mirror for, for the sun, which, yeah, it's very reflective. So I put it in the bright mode. I did, that didn't do much difference, to, to, to be honest, uh, at least not in direct sunlight. So, yeah, we'll see. I think we'll talk more about that. I think it's the angle of the screen that's really not um, yeah, optimal for this. <clears throat> right, so that was the sort of first range test. Um, not to sort of do a, a maximum range but more like a, a usual driving test. Uh, I do think that the reason for the Lincoln Co Sir One that it has a bigger battery than the sort of Volvo hybrids is the fact that it's the same model for for China. Uh, I have to look this up, but I think China has you know higher requirements on range on battery for for hybrids. I think they they have to manage 60 kilometers, whereas in Europe I think it's lower like like 40 so a, a thumbs up for for china for uh, yeah giving us a longer range on, on, on the hybrid in the in the lincoln co zero one again i have to check that up um, that said it feels much more practical with uh, this range than in, in a volvo hybrid which is yeah too low uh, even for for short trips so I think we'll do more range tests in the future. Um, I've also noticed some things uh, both in the sort of infotainment screen and in the cluster that's uh, interesting. So I'll try to do another video. But I think that was all for this range test. And please, if you if you want me to check something, just write that in, in the comments and I'll, and I'll try to, to check that out. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.